I want you to also consider some additional environmental compensation strategies when the patient's function calls for it. Sitting surfaces that are not too low and the approach to get to a sitting surface. Keeping in mind that persons with Parkinson's disease most often will actually festinate if they're going to in a turn to sit down. I want you to keep in mind that if a patient with Parkinson's disease doesn't know that they're actually headed to a chair to go sit down, that they will actually usually successfully walk directly to that chair and can come to an arrested stop and then begin the turn. So one environmental compensation strategy comes through the caregiver and through the intention here, walk all the way to the bed. We're just headed to the bed to pick up a Kleenex off of the nightstand. Walk all the way to the toilet. We're gonna pick up your glasses off of the counter. Walk all the way to the dining room chair. We're gonna peek out the window. Rather than go sit down on that bed, go sit down on that toilet, or go sit down uh, on that chair. When the patient has to program the entirety, the walk and the turn and the sit, they're more likely to have that festinatory disruption. Keeping in mind the same thing happens with doorways. Have your patient visualize and look at something through an open doorway so that they are not so visually distracted by the frame of the doorway itself. You'll find many patients with freezing of gait and festination problematic uh, as they try to make it through an open door separate from and much harder than going through a door that they have to open for themselves. Mm -hmm.